Hello, my name is Blake Roy and I am the 8020 Marketing Social Media Extra as well as Utility Man for Ansig's Renegade System. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up your new Twitter account. Nothing less, nothing more. We're going to just take you through the process. I'm not going to be overly verbose about all of this. I'm just going to get you signed up with a brand new Twitter account. So right now what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you have two windows open. I want you to have twitter.com. I want you to be looking at twitter.com. And then the other window that I want you to have open is your email. In, in Twitter sends you a verification email. You're going to have to click a link inside of your email account to verify that you are the one signing up for that account. If at any time I'm going too fast, I want you to click pause. I want you to click pause and I want you to get caught up. If you need to, you can rewind this short video and watch the step again. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. You'll see that it says sign up. Click that. You have to go ahead and fill out your name, password, use your best email, and then go ahead when you're all finished to click create my account now if you want to receive email updates from Twitter I do recommend that you keep this clicked and if you are new to Twitter and you're not exactly sure how to use the platform I would keep it clicked so you can receive their updates they're going to be informational and they're going to provide the kind of updates that will help you use Twitter better click create my account once you have all of the fields filled out on the sign up form once you do that they're gonna just wanna make sure that you're human they're gonna have you fill out this captcha if you're having difficulty with these words you're going to wanna click get new words or if you would rather hear the words click hear a set of words either way you're gonna have to type the words into the blank field here and click finish now this is the first of three steps to complete the sign up process so you have a brand new Twitter account. It says step one of three, browse interests. To get started, select the topics you are interested in. Find a few people you want to hear from, then follow them. When you follow someone, each time they tweet, you'll see their tweets on your Twitter homepage. They're notified that you are following them and will be displayed on your public profile you can follow or unfollow sources at any time. Well, I'm using Twitter for business. I'm using Twitter for networking. I'm using Twitter to connect with people. So I'm going to try to locate things that are right up my alley. I know that I like business. And then they give me a lot of people that I can follow. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to really bother with this right now. Uh, for future upcoming tutorials, I am going to show you different ways to find different people who you will be interested in following. But right now, we're not going to spend a lot of time with that. The purpose of this video is just to get you signed up. But if you want to spend a little extra time with this during your sign up process, by all means, you can click entertainment and Twitter will provide for you some of the most popular people in this particular genre, in the entertainment genre or in the business genre or in the food and drink genre. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead down here at the bottom right and click next step. Now this asks me if I want to connect and see if any of the people who are on my email are also using Twitter. I don't necessarily recommend you do this, um, so I'm going to go ahead and just click next step. I'm going to skip this part. Now because this is an 80-20 production on behalf of the Renegade system, I am going to actually click who are you looking for right here. It says who are you looking for and we'll just get started with, with finding one person. I'm going to recommend that you find Ann underscore Sieg. I want you to go ahead and search for her and immediately we're going to start following her by clicking the follow button. Now if I didn't want to follow her or if I made a mistake, you could click unfollow and you wouldn't be following her anymore. But for the sake of this tutorial, go ahead, let's get started and let's click follow so we can keep up to date with all of Ann Sieg's updates. Now we're done. So we're just going to click next step and we are done. Okay, so now it says 
Up here, you'll notice it says, please confirm your account. A confirmation message was sent to 8020extra at gmail.com. Until you confirm, you will have limited access to certain features on Twitter. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go back over to the other tab you have open, which is your Gmail account. You're going to click that, and you'll see that I have now have an email from Twitter. Confirm your Twitter account. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is, hi, Blake Roy, please confirm your Twitter account by clicking this link. I'm going to click the link. And now it says your account has been confirmed. Thanks. And that'll just go away in just a moment. So the first thing that we're going to do now that we have this account is we're going to fill out our profile. Now when we're when it comes to filling out our profile, I, I want to just take a look at Ann Sieg's profile as an example here. Um, you don't necessarily have to have the fancy wallpaper on the side and, and that's what we'll call that we'll call that wallpaper this is not something if you're beginning that you need to have right away that's something that you can add later when you start to brand yourself more but I want to point out some very specific things that are crucially important if you're gonna get started on Twitter you have your picture and you have the information fully completed right here with your name your location your web address and a short little biography about yourself in order to get this all filled out, I'm going to go up here to settings. And just by the way, everything you need, your navigational bar, if you will, is right up here. You can go to your home page, and this will be a listing of all the tweets that the people you follow have made. So I'm only following Ann Sieg, and these are her tweets. For our sake, we're going to click Settings. We're going to make sure this information is correct. Our username is Blake Roy. Our email is 8020extra. The language that we're using is English. I'm on the Central Standard Time. Tweet location. I'm not going to use tweet location. Tweet privacy. Protect my tweets. I'm not going to concern myself with that. I'm going to just go ahead and click Save. Now, they ask you to re-enter your password when you're just starting your account so make sure when you went through the process of filling out the form that had your email on it and your username and your password make sure that you wrote down your password it should be good to go very good okay so now I want you to take a look right up here the most important thing is your profile you can change your password if you have a mobile phone you want to integrate your mobile application with Twitter you can do that notices you can set up certain notices for our sake of this tutorial and just getting your account set up properly we need to click profile and the first thing the most important thing we need to do is add a picture so we're gonna go ahead and choose file now I already have a picture of myself on my desktop I knew this I knew this I would need this ahead of time so at this point, if you don't have a picture, I recommend that you get one. I recommend that you save it onto your computer's desktop. That way it's handy and easy to use. I click Choose File, and this will open up. I have a picture of me right here. I'm just going to put that in. And it should show up in just a moment after I hit Save okay so there I have it I did upload my picture it's not showing just yet hopefully there's not a technical snafu I think it should be okay I can see that it's there by looking right here that's the name of the file I'm just gonna double check yep okay so the file is right there I know that I uploaded it properly my name is right here Roy Blake my location Medford Oregon my website 8020.com which is uh, a made-up site there is no such thing and if I drag this down a little bit, I can see uh, I've got my little bio here. I'm an 8020 Marketing Inc. Extra and Utility Man for Ansig's Renegade System. Once that looks good to me, I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. And you can see that it, it's thinking and uploading the file. Okay, it looks like the picture is taken. So now what I want to do is I want to go up here to Profile. Okay, so it looks good. You can see that now I have my picture right here. These are the most important things for setting up any social media account. You want to have a completed pro profile, which always starts with the picture, always starts with your name, your web address, and a little bit of a bio about yourself, a biography about yourself. So you want to get used to that if you're new to using social media. 
Now the next thing I need to do, I already know that I'm following Ann Sieg. I'm, I'm going to actually start my first tweet. I'm going to write my first tweet. So I'm going to click home. There we have it. I'm brand new to Twitter, just getting started. Looking forward to learning this platform to build my business. You can see that you only get 140 characters. If I was to erase this, I have 140 characters to use. Now when I put that back in, I have 27 left over. I'm going to go ahead now and click Tweet. And I'm off and running with Twitter. I highly recommend that you send Ann Sieg a tweet. Let her know that uh, you're looking forward to engaging with her on Twitter, uh, as well as uh, I know in these upcoming Sundays, she's going to be hosting a Twitter chat room. And if you stay tuned for the next video here, you'll learn how to get into that chat room, how to set yourself up so you're able to chat live in real time with Ann Sieg and many others from the Renegade System community. So before I go today, we're just going to hit the at sign. Now, if you hold down shift, and you'll get that at sign. And that's exactly how you can notify, uh, create a tweet at somebody. You know, you're speaking to Ann Sieg when you have the at sign and their name. So at Ann Sieg, she has an underscore there between Ann and Sieg. Hey there, Ann. And that's what she calls it, the, the backyard chat. She's going to be doing that this Sunday. And that's all I'm going to write. And that's as simple as that. So I go ahead and click Tweet. Okay, so now we can see that if I can click this, this to double check that it worked. Yep, you'll see that when I hover over Ann underscore Sieg, it shows who this person is. This is their picture. I'm following them. From here on out, you're, you understand the basics of Twitter. You've got your profile completed. You have created an account. And we'll be providing more and ongoing tutorials about Twitter, but for right now, you're all set and ready to go. I highly encourage you just to explore the platform, start using it on a daily basis. It's not going to feel real comfortable at first, but it will over time if you stay consistent and stick with it. All right, I am Blake Roy, your 8020 social media extra, as well as utility man for the Renegade system. I will see you in future tutorials.